Hello YouTube, this is Lucid Alvar here today with another video and today I'll be talking about Icarus. This is a new game that actually comes out in December 4th and man, am I excited for this game. The story this game has and has been worked on is so amazing so far, but we will cover what we know so far and you know what we've been led to know by the developers. There are some main things that I do want to go over, which will be the planet first trails and terraforming, then the finding of exotics, um, die Helmer, hopefully I pronounced that right, the media reaction in this universe to the planet becoming uninhabitable. And then on top of that, the cohort rush is what I like to call it a bit. And also finally Zoe's story. So first let's get started off with talking about the first terraformer. So in this actual universe, Earth actually finds a way to solve all their problems with climate change and all that by finding a rare re material that actually helps them do this. And so once they are able to do this, they actually start deciding that, hey, we're going to go and start looking in the stars, looking for us to do what we want. This is so far as what we know from the developers is that they end up finding this planet that wasn't called Icarus at first, but that is what the planet is called. And it was kind of thought of to be an Earth 2.0. And so they ended up sending these terraformers that brought like, you know, species of certain life and stuff over from Earth to there, but adapted it to them. And they ended up starting to terraform the area. So everything was actually going really, really well. They were, you know, able to terraform it, able to do this. And there was a lot of people sent and the a couple of people that were sent was D Helmer and Zoe. So remember those names because we're going to get back to them again, like I said, but they're among some of the first terraformers sent to go and terraform the entire planet. So as they were doing this out of nowhere, just out of nowhere, the complete blue, the atmosphere that was oxygen rich ended up getting laced with cyanide and some other harmful chemicals. This was something that is actually pretty crazy when you think about it, because um, nothing really had happened to this point. This ended up killing a lot of the nature and it was portrayed by the media in this universe as a whole entire genocide of an entire environment and this pretty much like happened and Di Helmer the person who I mentioned earlier actually comes into play for this so she she or he I, I do not I don't know really what the you know gender is on the person but because it doesn't really explain but you know they ended up going and taking a team and trying to discover why why what went wrong right and then they ended up finding out something they found the exotics the exotics are something that is a rare rare and valuable material in the universe in this universe that we play in and it honestly holds like everything that you need so like one of these exotics back on earth can get you anything you wanted and that's how rare it was. But the thing is, is that this exotic thing, it actually ended up um, not mixing well, right? It, it didn't mix well with the atmosphere. That and It fucked up the enzymes. It made everything horrible. And that's what kind of laced the entire atmosphere and destroyed the atmosphere. So that is pretty much the story of the first terraformers. But now, but now let's get it. Let's get into the first cohorts. So the cohorts. Who are they? These are these people that decided, hey, we're going to sell everything and go over there to Icarus. So the planet was actually dubbed Icarus because of the whole entire story, in case you guys don't know, of a fallen of a fallen dream. And that's exactly what this planet was. It was a fallen dream. Something that had meant to be an Earth 2 point had failed. But guess what? There is a valuable resource there. And that is where we see a kind of type of gold rush that you would see in our own like universe like in our own history you see the whole entire gold rush with california and everything so it's pretty much the same thing with the cohorts so the space station that the terraformers were actually operating out of and die helmer actually operated out of when she went down and discovered the exotics they actually had been re-transformed into an actual living area where you know these cohorts these people that would sell everything to come over here and pretty much only have a suit and have to craft everything that they needed to survive would go drop down go look for exotics come back up trade the exotics in and this is actually from the video so the guy in the video actually says you can trade these exotics for here a new rifle a new radar a new suit right so exotics here were actually kind of hyper inflated to what basic goods like suits rifles and radars and like etc and all that 
like it was just super super hyper inflated for some reason but if you went back to earth with those exotics you would actually be able to get anything you wanted so it, it's a really high risk high reward type of thing because the thing that we do not know so far is what causes these storms these storms that are super toxic that if you took your eyes off the mission clock if you missed your drop ship to go back up to the space station you would die that's as simple as that you would die the drop ships did not wait for anybody if you did not make it in time you died now finally let's get into before actually we get into zoner crew let's talk a little bit more about the whole entire drop experience so you get dropped right you drop in you do you go out and you explore and then you know you kind of have to extract out you have to avoid the storms because if you get caught in a storm you will die there is no question about it they say that you are likely to die so mainly maybe if you are lucky you'll live and that's where i get into this next part which is zoe and her crew so in this video that was published about like i want to say seven months ago if i remember correctly if i can count the date in my head about seven months ago and you know they were zoe had actually came across this group and she had decided to drop with them because you know she i think she just really wanted to see how they did like the guy in the video was saying but you know i just i think that's really what it was i think she was looking for a crew and these people fit the match and everything and these people are talking about zoe how she was um somebody who knew the planet inside out who knew everything who was here before or, and doing all this terraforming and stuff so they ended up starting doing regular drops and everything and I just want to say, I don't know, I feel like Zoe is going to be somebody really important in the lore of this entire game because Zoe seems to have mysteriously walked off, just like quote unquote walked off. And I don't know, the people in the video, the woman and the other guy with um the hard accent, not the one that had like, you know, the long hair, the other one, I, I'm blanking out on his name right now, but him and her both seem like they might have played a role in zoe actually miss disappearing which is kind of a far-fetched idea but that's kind of my idea i feel like zoe's actually going to be really really important but also the video that she does leave behind does have a lot of cuts in like pieces that seem like they're missing so that's also another thing i kind of wanted to throw in there it seems like the i feel like the developers developers are hinting towards you know this being something that should be important in the lore and overall i am just really really excited to play this game because it just it, it has so much to it and i just feel like you know the lore is going to be so huge and so amazing so hopefully we start covering it more as the game comes out in two weeks i think almost three weeks from now and i am going to be playing the shit out of this game over winter break but hopefully y'all have a nice week make sure to leave a like subscribe i also have a discord down below in the link um yeah so just join have a nice week guys